We've got our committees formed. We have several co-chairs of the committees. We haven't uh, gotten anybody to step up for the finance committee yet. But up to this point, I've done the stuff related to the finance committee, getting us registered. We have an FEIN number. And so we're ready to go. We have another meeting tomorrow night. And I think that's going to be the last meeting of the steering committee as a group. And then we're going to start getting the subcommittees to meet on their own in smaller groups and more often so we can get the ball rolling. I think that, you know, we have to raise some donations to do a lot of the printing and get the signs and stuff. Uh, but one of the things that is going to happen tomorrow night is Hugo Heredia is going to address our group with some ideas he has about filming the school and the deterioration and everything that's going on in the building. Katie Bender is here to talk about the way the next step they want to take, which is the schematic plan stage, and we'll need um, board approval if, if the board so wishes to start that process now. So, uh, gentlemen? Uh, we'd like to, uh, in the schematic design phase, we'd like to get our uh, engineers started uh, thinking about the systems that would be involved within the project. Um, the survey for the property has been completed, so we want to look at uh, uh, the siting of the building and the impact on uh, with the existing terrain and utility um, uh, underground pipes to make sure that uh, we're good there. The goal of schematic design is to, in the end, have a, a well-defined uh, program solution, uh, building solution. We'll also be looking at um, elevation studies. Uh, starting to look at preliminary material selections. Again, those will be helpful for us in identifying uh, costs for the project and, uh, and other com components of the building. We think it's important that this occurs prior to the referendum because if we wait till April to start this effort, I'm really worried that there won't be enough time to get that design effort done, be able to bid the project and start construction in the fall. I think it's, a, it's important to us to, that uh, the project move forward, that uh, we get authorized to move into schematic design. Uh, Dave's here tonight to tell us about uh, what we need to know about board involvement in a referent. Thank you. David? Thank you. The ground rule is, and really the, the statutory prohibition is, use of public funds. And that's right out of the election code criminal penalties for the expenditure of public funds to support or oppose a referendum or a candidate. Um, there's been one case regarding use of the facilities and whether that constitutes use of public funds. It does not, according to the 5th uh, District of the Illinois Appellate Court. 